I believe I always had a fire inside me. I didn't like to get in fights as a young guy, but I realized that early on, once a fight starts, I'll finish it. I always stood my ground. That's just something I have within me since I was born, I guess. I'm gonna be a problem for every fighter in the Bellator cage at any weight class because I'm the best fighter in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the newest member of the Bellator family, Rory McDonald. Where I like to be is an intense mind frame, ready to fight, ready for war. Mentally preparing that I'm going to take damage, but I'm there to deliver damage. Nice. That was a good round. I'm David Lee from Kelowna, BC in Canada. I'm Rory McDonald's coach for his upcoming Bellator debut in London, England. Rory's gift that he was given, besides all the physical attributes that he has, is his ability to focus. I've never met another human being, let alone a fighter, with that kind of focus. He has a way of just drowning out all the outside distractions. Outside of the cage, Rory is a, uh, he's a very funny, personable guy. There's a certain innocence to Rory. <laughs> he's an amazing dad. We have a lot of fun when we're not working. No, we don't want to do a parent interview. Yeah. It's all that. He's got pretty big for his britches, apparently. <laughs> it would be weird having cameras following you around all the time. How could you act natural? If you're on the outside of that and you're in the cage, you know a very different type of Rory. <laughs> when you're dating a fighter, you have to understand that there's, there's two sides to them. He's at home, he's a good dad, he's funny, he's lovable. I don't know, to me when I look at him, I always tell him, I look at you as like you're so much like softer and sweeter and cuddly. He really got into the sport because he loves to fight. He wants to go in there and test himself in a physical game of chess against the best fighters out there. He just wants to train, rest, eat, train some more, learn, and then go in there and just be a savage in the cage. It's not so much blood that you see weakness, it's more in their eyes, in their body language. When I see they're not in the fight anymore, that's when I go in for the kill. Blood doesn't really make a difference. You could slice a guy and he's still in the fight. So it's more body language and what the eyes are telling me. A big reason why he's back in Kelowna for this camp is he wants to get back to a little bit more of that intensity, a little bit more of that just getting in there and fighting. David understands my fighting style. He started with me as a 14 year old and I believe after all the experience I've had with my fight career, it just was the right time to come back to that get back to my roots and get back to my strengths. To be a world champion is something I've dreamed about my whole life. Since I've been with Bellator, they've given me the opportunities to be a star, and that's what fighters look for, is opportunities. They treat him like family, and because they treat him like family, they treat me like family. Where I'm at right now is like a new beginning, you know? Honestly, I'm really excited for people to see Rory come out, you know, for his Bellator debut, and just uh, put Daly away. Paul Daly calling me out. I take it as a sign of respect. Everybody calls out people that is gonna give them a big opportunity. I'm gonna be the last man standing because when the fight starts, he's not gonna be able to keep up with my pressure. Every step he takes, I'm gonna be there in his face. Every time he wants to take a breath, I'll be right there putting the pressure on him. And he's gonna feel like he's drowning. And eventually he's gonna have to give up.